we got a lot of defense players and, and we got we got we got a small team just like last year but a little bit smaller but we're gonna still do the same thing how all right Isaiah, best of, best of luck this year yeah thank you sorry no i know you want to finish your thing hey isaiah how are you Hello. good to see you again good to see you too um, ta following up on that theme of how the team will be different, I mean, last year's team really was unique. You had, you know, Charlie Moore was a very unique kind of point guard. Um, how will that position be different this year? How, um, how will it look different without Charlie? Um, like, we have, we have Nigel Peck. He's going to make a difference to this team. He's a, he's a great shooter. He, he, gets, he, he can play make. He can do all of that. But he, he did, like, somewhat with Charlie. at the same size and all that. So I feel like he's going to bring the same energy. And he can shoot, like, he can shoot from distance. And he, he got a consistent shot. So he's going to help the team as much as possible. And we've been going through a lot of defensive stuff with him. And he's been showing improvement in defense. And he's been proving a lot of players on the court. He can, he can be one of the top defenders on the court. And what about Norchad? I know he's got amazing energy. You can tell just by talking to him. And, and he's known, I guess, as a rebounder. What, what does he bring to the team, you think? Um, Norchad, he just brings the energy to the team. He brings the toughness, the energy, all that. He's a, he's a great player to be around. He's a great asset to the team. He gets re offensive rebounds, defensive rebounds, and he just takes it strong to the basket, in which we really need that as a team. We always need a big, and he's a He's a small big though, but but he he makes up for it in his size and his strength. So he's going to be one tough player in the conference, and he's he I feel like he's a little underrated for for ACC, but he's going to do good this season. Were there things that you watched, or, or maybe some things just to kind of play a little differently, essentially, and with the ball in your hands, you know, handling it and running it? I mean, yeah, obviously watching film on you know point guards in the league. Um, obviously gave me some help on, you know, what to do. But, I mean, obviously playing point guard has been what I've known my whole life. So, I mean, obviously it's still st uh, st stuck in the back of my head on, you know, how to play true point guard. And being the shooting guard is really what I had to adapt to, um, what I had to learn how to do. And I feel like that just, you know, grew my game more. So, I mean, I obviously appreciate the opportunity of playing shooting guard. Um, but being back to a true point guard is really what I need for my game. Larry has had guys at lead guard spots that still produce points. You know, what, what's kind of the balance for you to still, obviously your shooting, you know, your scoring ability, just to make sure you're still getting your shots up and not always distributing. What, what's kind of that balance? And I assume he's talked to you, you know, shooting your shot kind of thing. Yeah, I mean, obviously just staying aggressive the whole game. I mean, when you're, when you're aggressive and you just make reads, um, the game comes to you naturally. So when, I, when I'm staying aggressive and I attack the basket, if the guy doesn't come up, then I shoot it. And when they come up, um, obviously I find the open man. So, I mean, it's just make sure it's keeping that balance of staying aggressive um, and then keeping my, my guys involved as well, but while keeping myself involved as well. So it's really that balance I just got to find in between. Um, but I've been feeling like I've been doing a great job adjusting to it. Uh, you, you mentioned NBA. Are there point guards you, you'd like to watch or particularly try to pick a little things off of? I mean, yeah, I mean, just watching games in general, I feel like helped me um, being guys like, you know, Curry shooting ability. But then you've got guys like Chris Ball who can pass and guys like Fred Van Vliet who are very undersized, but, you know, still really dominant in the league. So it's really taking pits and pieces of everybody's game and trying to put it in my own. Your, your shooting ability, um, can, do you have a routine either daily uh, practice, after practice, just to get shots up? Are there things that you're doing, essentially how you got to this level to be able to shoot this way, but also to stay... You know, still hitting shots. What's your shooting routine like? Yeah, I mean, obviously just starting in close, um, getting form shots up around there. Um, sometimes I would say I'm just in here shooting um, when, until I feel good with how my shot felt that day. And then sometimes um, I keep numbers on, you know, how many shots was I making um, because I feel like that's really important sometimes rather than just shooting. Um, it's more important to keep, you know, your stats on what you're making because you don't get unlimited shots in the game. You got to make sure you're efficient with the shots that you get. What's it like been playing alongside us? Isaiah, you know, learning his game and, and finding him spots and just kind of working off each other. What's it been like? No, it's been, it's, it's been great, you know, transitioning to playing with him, a great, great guard. Um, you know, being first team last year, I feel like his talent level is just off the roof, um, his athletic ability. Um, it just makes my job a lot easier, you know, playing with Isaiah. I mean, just throwing him the ball and he, he can score whenever and he basically almost gets me assists every time. So, I mean, you know, playing with guys like that makes, you know, my job a lot easier. Um, but also it, it takes, takes the load off of me as well, too, because I have no, I have teammates and help, you know, that can help me, you know, when we, we get into tough games and things like that. And just kind of working, you know, alongside with Jordan and Norchad, and it seems Wuga, whoever they put in there also, but just maybe the, the, the top group here, kind of how you're seeing it come to form. What, what are you seeing with this group? What do you, what do you like about your unit? 
Yeah, I mean, obviously the athletic ability and the athleticism is off the charts and that makes my job easy as well. Throwing lobs to guys and, and fast breaks and transition. Um, guys being able to shoot the ball really well on this team, you know, obviously helps makes my job easy when I'm able to drive in um, and create for them. They're able to make shots. Um, and then having guys like Norchad and, and Jordan who are great at, you know, offensive rebounds. Um, you know, when I miss a shot or I take a tougher shot, I know I got guys in there who can easily get the rebound and put it back up. So obviously, you know, sometimes when I have to take a tough shot and I know I can't pass it, just my objective is to get the ball in the rim because I know I got guys like Jordan Norchad and Anthony who are athletic and who is able to get offensive rebounds and putting it back in. So you've had in your career, you've had some really high individual performances against those top level teams, you know, well known. Obviously ACC's got, you know, North Carolina right now, but is there your approach that you like those games that just kind of being on top of your game? Is there something you're looking forward to with those AJ, the challenge? Yeah, I mean, obviously just putting in, putting in the time and the effort, you know, taking every game very seriously. Um, some days are, you know, better for me than others. Uh, obviously, you know, taking my approach to every single game is to go out, and, you know, and play really good. Um, some days I have really good games where I'm really hot and I get even more aggressive than normally. And there's some games where I'm off where I'm trying to find my teammates more and get more assists. Uh, so it's just finding that balance in between. Um, in a lot of games last year, I was able to find my rhythm early, and that's how I was able to, you know, keep going the rest of the game. And in some games, I was off, and where I had to find my teammates and try to find another way to win. I would say there's expectations within the, within the team. I don't necessarily feel like there's expectations throughout the league. Um, I still feel kind of slept on, but I mean, it's fair, it's fine to me. Um, you know, I'm just looking to prove them all. Thank you, man. All right, now everyone else is going to try and talk. So you just mentioned you kind of feel slept on, man. Just kind of what's behind that? What's fueling you this year? Um, I mean, I feel like, you know, a lot of people don't see what you do in the offseason. Um, I mean, there's social media now, you know, Kane Tubes. They'll post it occasionally on Instagram, but, you know, it's a collective whole. Um, but, I, you know, I put a lot of work into my game this offseason. I think this is the hardest I've ever worked in the offseason. So, um, and like I said, you know, the media doesn't see that. So, um, with everything going on, I feel like, you know, a uh, big season's coming. And then specifically, what aspect of your game do you think you worked on the hardest and what's your <laughs> uh, I would say my three-point shot. I put in a lot of work and just being consistent with my shot and uh, making sure I could knock down open shots because I shot, I believe, 29 or 31% last year. I knew that needed to, um, you know, go up. But overall, my whole game, I feel like I've improved. <laughs> you taking kind of a bigger role this year, man. Just talk to me a little about that. Oh uh, yeah, uh, the ball's definitely in my hands a lot more than it was last year. Um, I would say, to answer that question, the ball's in my hands more. Uh, I, I just think the team's just doing well. You know, I feel like the most important thing was getting Nigel and Norchad and the freshmen um, accommodated to like our play style and you know, getting them on the train of wanting to win a national championship. Jim was saying the other day, that, hello, by the way. Uh, Jim was, <laughs> good to see you. Jim was saying that, uh, you know, some stats that they kept that you were like a four to one assist to turnover ratio. And he definitely wants the ball in your hands more. Um, is that, you know, do you like that? Do you like having the ball in your hands more? And, and is that something that we're definitely going to see a lot of this year? Are you going to be a very different, because everyone knows you from, Last season, mm -hmm. the offensive rebounding and all that stuff. What what other things are you going to be doing this year that, that people will be surprised you alluded to a little? Yeah, um, having the ball in my hands a lot more, like you mentioned. Uh, I would say, you know, my game's not the flashiest game compared to, you know, others. Um, but I, I pride myself in making the right decisions, you know. And um, I think having a 4-to-1 ratio kind of talks for itself. Um, and just some things to expect is, you know, being able to bring the ball up in transition, I didn't do any of that last year. Um, confident jump shooter, more confident than last year, and um, like just having the ball in my hands more. In general, when you when you play in an Elite Eight, you know you play at the highest level, Sweet 16, Elite Eight, and you see and you prove to yourself that hey, you know I can do this, and, and as a team and as an individual, how does that carry over to this season? That that kind of feeling of confidence that you guys did reach the Elite Eight last year. Yeah, I always say it's, it was bittersweet. Uh, we made it to Elite Eight. Obviously, we wanted to win the national championship. I think the biggest thing that brought to our program was just motivation. Um, you know, no one's ever really satisfied with losing. And then that was a tough loss to Kansas. So we kind of just used that as billboard material for us to, you know, just push us through the days we don't want to, you know, necessarily go as hard. But um, I think you should see a, a pretty determined Miami team this year. And uh, Nigel, can you talk about, you know, Charlie was just such a, 
a dynamic kind of point guard that did such special things. Um, what? How would you describe Nigel? <laughs> oh God, now. I, <laughs> I didn't know. I was just a really big fan. I was just. A <laughs> um, I always feel like that question's tough because it's trying to like compare an apple and an orange. Mm -hmm. Um, I, I, I think Nigel brings so much to a team, you know, he can facilitate, but he can also play off the ball and shoot. Uh, I mean, he's a tremendous shooter, we all know he's the number one return three-point percentage shooter. Um, you know, I was surprised for his size, he plays a lot bigger than that. Um, I think he's going to add a lot to the team this year. And what about Norchad? Everyone, energy is the word I keep yeah. hearing, but what, what does he bring? Yeah, he's like a, a bull, that's what I would call him. <laughs> um, he has a lot of energy, um, he's a, a hefty guy. Uh, he could jump out the gym. I, I think he's going to be a lot of our motor this year, and uh, we're just looking to build off that. What can you say about what you've learned from Charlie Moore last year, and what, what does that uh, advice or what you've seen from him, uh, what, do you, what do you carry in the next season? Right. Um, I would say, so coming into Miami, I was going into my fourth year. Um, thinking, I was thinking I was going to become one of the old, I was going to be one of the older guys. Come to find out, I was not. I was one of the youngest. Um, but I, I learned leadership from him. He was one of the older guys. He knew how to keep a team together, how to keep them glued. Um, he facilitated a lot offensively and defensively. So you know, I just look to carry some of those things that he did into this team because we're we're a bit on the younger side now. We got four freshmen that just came two transfers. I'm the oldest now, you know, quick switch, but um, just trying to, you know, use that leadership skills that he showed into this year's team. Jordan, where do you think you guys will be a little bit different or better than, than a year ago that you're noticing practices? Can you clarify a little bit more? Just either offensively or de defensively. I know defensively you got the freshman in, it looks like you might be able to switch a little bit differently or guard differently. Offensively, you're playing with a different style of point guard. What are some things maybe you, that you're noticing that you guys will be a little bit better at or a little bit different? Um, again, I don't really like comparison, comparing, you know, but I would say we're a lot more comfortable with the small ball. Um, I'm sure Coach Ailes ran that at some point in his many, many years. Um, but, you know, having guys return that have played it and are familiar with it, I, I think you should be looking forward to see like a, an updated version of that, you know, more improved, you know, more sharp. Um, obviously, you know, there's still some kinks we got to work out. We have some freshmen, got some new guys that are going to play like serious minutes. But I think for the most part, you know, we all have a general um, knowing of how to play small ball. Isaiah was saying that he thinks Wuga is, when I asked him who might surprise this year, someone that's not on, as much on the radar, and he said Wuga Poplar. Um, what, what, what have you seen from him this offseason? Yeah, I mean, Wuga is a dynamic scorer. Um, you know, last year was his freshman year, and I mean, I, so I can speak for experience, my freshman year was not the best, you know. Um, but I think you guys will be surprised. He, he's still coming along. Um, but I think for his development and him being a rising sophomore, it shows a lot of promise. What are some of the advantages you think this team will have of being a small team like small ball? Yeah, I just think quickness overall. Um, you know, tall trees still fall the same. So um, just being able to use our quickness, you know, like last year we weren't the biggest, the heftiest team. However, you know, you got to find a way to win, and last year we did that. So, you know, I, I'm feeling confident going into the season. Coach L's system, what do you think you've learned the most from him, and, and what can some what you've learned carry over into this season? Yeah, um, I would say familiar with experience in late game situations. Um, I've, Coach, Coach L has been in a lot of late game situations. You know, he's had a long, tremendous career. Um, and just kind of knowing more as far as, okay, obviously he calls up the plays and stuff like that, but having a general idea of, okay, you know, I'm feeling confident in this situation now um, compared to when I first got here. Uh, just kind of maybe what you've already noticed with the adjustment of kind of practicing and playing against these guys or playing with some of the guards in particular too, just maybe the adjustments already on, on court. So yeah, like the, the first thing is just like, learning to play with them, you know, all, all my teammates do different stuff better, all my teammates can play, you know, the adjustments just being learning the way they pass the ball, who run the floor, who play defense harder, like just learn to play with them and that's the, that's the biggest adjustment right now. In particular with Nigel and Isaiah, 
just your thoughts on them and trying to, you know, obviously kind of provide something different to, on the court. But what are you seeing with those two, kind of playing with those two? No, both of them are great players. Like Nigel just can score the ball in so different ways, just like Isaiah. You know, it feels good having them on your team, you know, knowing that they're going to be having your back. I'm going to have their back day in, day out. You know, so it's just good knowing that I'm going to be playing with those two great players and others also on the team. That's it. I heard you the other day you were talking about Jordan, uh, how he's helped you. Is it, What in particular have you talked to him about that's really helped your game? Um, just with the transition here, what, is there something in particular he's talked to you about? Yes, it's the defense, the defensive part of the game. Jordan is a really good defender, like playing, like when he guard me, you know, I know I got to give it all every day on the court. So like, you know, he played one year in the ACC, so like he, he have the experience. So Jordan just have shown me so many things on defense, how to front bigs, how to, how, how to play without fouling, how to guard the one through five, it's just, he know how to play defense, and I look up to him in the aspect. Coach Larnega talked about recently just wanting you to maybe dominate or just really kind of take over practice, but things like that. I'm sure he's talked to you about that. Is that something he said? Do you, do you feel like you've been doing that? How has that gone? Yeah, I, I mean, to, you know, I mean every day, day in and day out, I just give everything when I come in practice, go hard. Like, you know, having younger guys looking up to you like the freshmen, you just got to set up the right example for them so you can't you can't come one day, play good another day, don't do anything. And they're going to, you know, they can get used to that and they're going to be like, oh, nurture, do it, I'm going to do it. So, like, it's just setting an example for the freshmen. So you just got to come every day in practice and work hard. Uh, I know you guys will play ACC teams in a little bit. Have you already started watching players or teams in the, on your own this summer? Did you already start that process? Definitely. You know, the ACC is a hard league. So, like, to play good is not just about working hard. You also got to prepare mentally. And studying players is one of the things I already started doing, you know. Like, somebody that I'm really excited to play is Armando Baker. So, like, I already start studying his game, what he does, what he don't like. So, you know, just to know players. That's the part of the game that a lot of people, like, don't know about. And, like, you just got to get really good yeah. at it. Uh, what are you noticing with this team that's different? What, what are you kind of noticing that you've seen already from practices? You've obviously played here for a while. Um, we're extremely energetic, which I think is a great thing. Our motor is going to be really good this year. We're really fast and athletic, long and lengthy. So I think we're going to be a good defensive team and a very fast team. So that's something I'm really looking forward to see. It, it seems like just what, especially with the new, the freshman, the length, you touched on that. You guys can do a lot of different things defensively. Can you speak on that, what you're noticing already just um, with those guys? I know Chad too. 100%. We're very agile. We're very agile at the big position, so I feel like that we can we can switch on the faster and smaller guards. And not only that, our guards are very, sorry, our, our guards are very physical too. And I think they they hold their own in the post and not letting the big catch it. So I think we'll be very good on defense. And offense is just... All, all spots are interchangeable for our offense, as you've seen during the season. We play kind of a five out, and we're we're kind of we're kind of good on personnel for that as well. We're fast. We're going to be a great cutting team. We're very athletic. Just little things like that is going to make us set apart, set us apart from everyone else. I think something in your game in the off season that you really focused on, or you're most pleased with, or something that, a part that you really wanted to be a little bit better at. This I wanted year? to I wanted to be a better uh, th catch and shoot three point shooter, open three point shooter, and I wanted to be a better free throw shooter. And those are two of the main things that I've been working on, and my decision making as well. Uh, particularly the shooting, uh, we've seen that kind of, you know, I know you're trying to work on that. How is it kind of coming along? And, and Coach has talked about in the past that he's seen moments where you are hitting them. I know you had that season uh, where the numbers weren't great, but just how, how is it coming with, with your game? And what are you what are you doing, Anthony, to, to work on that? Um, uh, obviously, aside from the reps that I put in everything, I just think the main thing is my confidence. My main thing is my confidence. And the fact that I'm a veteran here and that I've played a couple seasons now, I think that I've settled in and uh, I'll be a lot more confident in my decision making and my shot making. So it is, it's going by well. It'll be well. Uh, you, you've seen Isaiah's game. Is mm -hmm. there something that even a little bit better than with his game that you're noticing? That, um, um, yeah, I see him improve every day from the moment I stepped on campus and the moment he stepped on campus. He, he's a hard worker. Uh, I feel like his, his biggest jump in his game is he's a more willing passer now. Now he's more willing to look for his, uh, his open teammates now that he knows that the defense kind of collapses on him. And, and yeah, I think that's the main.
biggest jump in. With your game, where, where do you think you're most improved at from, from a year ago? Um, just being more comfortable. I feel like last year I wasn't really like out of the shell, comfortable. I feel like now I'm getting used to like getting backing up in the floor. So I feel like I'm, the game coming a little bit more slower to me. Just being more comfortable on the court. I know they're rotating a bunch of guys in, but particularly when you're on that top unit with, with Isaiah and Nigel, you know, Norchad and Jordan, just when you're playing with those guys, maybe your mindset um, when you're on the court with those guys. Oh, um, my mindset when I'm on the court with them, basically, like, I noticed that Nigel, he, at his old school, he averaged like 16, Zay averaged 18, Chad averaged 17, so I already know they big scorers for us. So me, I'm just basically like trying to be the cleanup guy. So like just feed off, basically feed, eating off of them. So they drive, kick, pass, I'm in the corner, just making open shots, playing defense, just doing all the, the dirty work for them. And your skill set is different than those guys, you know, their size on both ends of the court. Just how much are you trying to, you know, bring your game, to adding to that group, essentially? I feel like now, we, I, I feel like we, we play well together. All of us on the court, we play really well. Um, it's just a matter of time. We just got to wait till the season start and y'all see. Yeah. Uh, you looking forward to elevated role or, you know, hopefully getting that kind of thing? You looking forward to this second year? Um, yes. More minutes, the whole thing? Yes, definitely. Yes, whatever, whoever, however my coach do it or however my coach, like, put the players on the team, I feel like we just got to play off what our coach do, do for us. Where do you think you're the were – you, where were you most pleased with the improvement you made in the off season? with your game? Is there something particularly you put extra time in that you wanted to be better at? I feel like, I feel like for me, with my game, just knowing it, like knowing the game, like, just like from, I can't really explain it, but I got you. Up. Like, yeah, basically just knowing basketball better, like dribble, dumb spacing, things like that. I feel like just coming from high school and then college was a big jump for me. But I didn't really know about the spacing so or like the the defensive schemes and stuff like that. I so I feel like that's all. That's all. all. Yeah, I mean a lot of guys in your athletic, you can kind of get not get by, but it's just a different. Like I understand it's different. So. Uh, just how practices have gone? Can you speak on maybe what you, how the team looks um, had during the preseason here? Oh yeah, I feel like we look really good. I feel like we all getting together, working well. We just. We're trying to build and be better than, hopefully we be better than last year. I feel like we had a great run last year, and I feel like we can do that this year. What are you yeah. able to do? I, I probably so. missed two or three practices in the past uh, two and a half months. So, um, I haven't, I mean, I haven't, I've missed probably two practices, three practices, if that. And that's just, like, just regular basketball stuff. I feel like uh, everybody on the team has missed a practice or taken um, some of the practice off. So I wouldn't attest that to like my, my back injury or anything like that. Like I'm, I'm, I'm perfectly fine, I'm back healthy. Um, yeah. What, what, what's it like then, being back out here and, and how, have you had to like kind of go through a process of maybe shaking off some rust? Yeah, of course. When uh, Whenever you miss like a substantial amount of time, you, uh, a little rusty in whatever you're doing. If you haven't drawn in a year, you try to draw again. It's, it's a little different. But, um, you know, when, like the first week I came back was probably four, three, four months ago at this point. Um, everybody was a lot faster than when I remember. Uh, so that was an adjustment. But, no, just um, I feel great being back out there. Uh, it's been a lot of consistent days that I've been having to string together to – um, just get back to where I feel like I need to be because um, I want to be better than where I was. So, that's it. How are you athletically? I mean, obviously, your athleticism, you know, we know. Yeah. You, how, how are you feeling with that part of your game? Is it. Yeah. Uh, it? Athletically, I feel uh, maybe better than ever. I feel very mature in my body. Um, last time I played, I might have been 19. I'm 21 now. Uh, I feel very strong. Um, I feel fast. I feel like I'm jumping high. I just uh, feel really good in my own body. I feel very mature. Maybe on court, game wise, where you you said mature, where do you yeah. feel like you can be better at? You know, when you're on the court. Oh shoot! As a player, I feel like I can be better. Um, every aspect: defense, dribbling, passing, 
Um, I'm always trying to get better shooting anything. I feel like I'm always trying to get better, but I really feel like um, I've been sharpening all my skills, uh, playing against these guys every day. They just, you can't do much but get better. So it's been uh, a good experience. Carla, what do you like about this team? You know, it's a different group than a year ago, a um, different one than you've seen before. Yeah. What, what do you like so far? Uh, I like the people. First off, I feel like we got just some really good people. Um, really just nice, hardworking, uh, respectable young men, in my opinion. And I appreciate that uh, more than anything else. Uh, on the court, I feel like they, um, they all got game, like uh, from the shortest guy to the tallest guy. Everybody has their own strengths. Everybody just brings something really special to the team, and um, that's been great to see. I've seen a couple of different teams over the past few years, and uh, I love our chances to do something special this year with this group of guys. Awesome. Just, just kind of curious how practice has gone so far, just kind of watching you guys out here. Just Practice has been well, um, you know, just getting better every day. Um, you know, season's right around the corner, so just preparing for them a couple of weeks until we get this thing under the road, so sure. excited. Is there something with your game you feel like you're better at or, or just in particular that you really feel good about heading into the season? Um, my defense, uh, getting, you know, in the right shape of guarding uh, full court and my playmaking, making guys better. Um, I feel like as a point guard, that's what you got to do. And I'm a little undersized for my position, so getting everybody involved and then, you know, try and get my own. So Stay with defensively, just any team. Point guard defense is such a big thing, particularly ACC. you speak on why that's such a priority for you and, and what you kind of learned last year with, with the guards that are in this conference and, and guys coming in? Like what I learned? Do you yeah, say? Oh. defensively. Defensively, um, maybe what you learned, what it takes to be a good defender at this level. Um, I learned a lot. I mean, our seniors last year, Charlie, Cam, you know, at the guard position, I got to watch them, you know, a lot and how they defend and, you know, make the right reads on defense. So kind of just watching them and picking up from what they did last year and also playing alongside, you know, taking some keys from those guys. So just trying to transition it to this season. D different players, but learning from Nigel, um, you know, not as experienced as Charlie was, but still he's been around and done it. Maybe. What are some things you're learning with him and picking up on different style of games, obviously? Um, I'm learning a lot from Nigel. I mean, he's really a tough player. Uh, he could shoot the lights out the basketball. So definitely, you know, and me and Nigel have been pushing each other on the defensive end a lot, you know, competing, going hard at each other. And I feel like that will only make us better, not only within each other, but as a team. Have you seen something shooting-wise? His numbers are obviously off the charts, but... Has you, have you seen something in practice or his number or something that like you're like, oh my God? Honestly, he amazes me every practice with his shooting. Like, he's just a knockdown shooter. I mean, he deserves to be wherever rank his three-point shooting should be. And, you know, he's just got to keep it up. And I'm excited to see him, you know, play in the ACC this year. His form, I mean, it looks, you know. It looks everything about it. I don't want to gas him so much, but his form, um, you know, his concentration, his his release, everything's just at a high point, and it's it's fun to watch. Coach, um, your game, kind of where you feel like you've made the most strides in the past year, just kind of things you've been working on. Uh, I feel like I've been working on my confidence, you know, you know my shooting ability, just being more versatile in the game. So definitely been taking strides in that area. So how just, how's preseason practices going for you and the team so far? You know, I, I think it was going good, just getting our team prepared for the season so we can get it going. You know, we got a lot we got a lot of work done. We worked on, you know, shooting, ball screen reads, made sure that we had a good idea of what we're doing on defense. So, you know, so. I'm curious what your connection with Bensley and Wuga just coming in together. What's, what's your guys' connection like? Those my guys, those my brothers, man. You know, we came, we all came in together. You know, we, we battled every day in practice. You know, now it's now it's like a brotherhood. So, you know, I love those guys. So, I'm, I'm curious what you're noticing with Nigel and Isaiah, just the way they're playing together in practice. Those two in particular. Just what do you see from those guys? Uh, you know, I see great chemistry with those two. You know, and it's, it's early on, so it's a lot of potential. So I feel like in the season, it's only going to get better. Coach mentioned the other day that you put on weight since just. What's that process been like, and are you noticing benefits of kind of, you know, with, with having that? Yeah, uh, process has been good. 
Uh, I came in here like 215, I'm like 225 now. So it's been a long process, had to get the weight, had to get the reps up. So I've been eating a lot more, but it's really helped me like battle with like Anthony, Fave, Chad. It's been helping me in the post, like hold my ground, stand it. Cause the first couple of weeks I was here, it was just fragile, weak, but now I can hold it. I can hold my ground and compete with them. Your, your game, I mean, it seems like there's different things, you, a lot of things you can do, you step out or kind of inside. Do you speak on maybe your approach to the game, what you're hoping to kind of bring, what you're uh, trying to bring to a team? I'm just trying to win. I got a really high motor, so I play really hard defensively, offensively, go for offensive boards, defensive rebounds. But uh, I'm skilled enough on the outside to if I have a big man, I could take him in and um, or take him to the hole, do whatever I got to do. And if I got a, a small on me, in the post, hit a fadeaway, take him in, take him in the post, hit a little hook shot. So I feel like I'm really diverse in what I can do. I'm just trying to help this team win. Your, your, your freshman class, you speak on just kind of working with these guys coming in together. Um, AJ and Chris, I saw, you know, favorite. Just, what, what, you speak on this class? Yeah, uh, these are my guys, man. We all live together. So we really bonded early. We started going uh, to beach together, South Beach, just walking around, just chilling. And we've all developed really well. Uh, all of us kind of had our moments struggling. All of us had our moments successful. But we just got to keep it consistent. And uh, I feel like we're playing really well. Like we impressed, like we proved a little bit. And I just feel like we got to keep it going. And I feel like we're always going to keep going. Is there a leader between the four of you? Nah, we're just kind of, we just kind of yeah, keep each other in check. Live, living together has kind of helped that. Me and AJ share a bathroom, Fave and Chris on that side. So it's been good. Everybody just keeps their distance, but we all hang out all the time. So we came really close over the couple of months. Anytime you have four guys, I mean, there's always a group. Is there a serious one of the group? Is there one that's most serious? And then also maybe uh, funniest or anything like that? Funniest? Fave. Faye's the funniest because when Faye starts getting mad, like when we're in the dorm, it's hilarious. Most serious, Chris or AJ. It's one of those two. I'm very outgoing. Nah, it's probably AJ. Yeah, but he's still, none of us are really serious like that. We all just want to have fun with this. Have fun in the dorm, have fun playing basketball is what we love, so. Yeah. Just maybe the th even the four of you guys this season. I mean, there's other guys with you know, I say it with different roles, but the importance of you guys kind of establishing and kind of providing something to this team. You know, you guys, you guys understand the importance of you guys kind of getting as ready as possible. Yeah, of course. Uh, we're all long. We can all defend pretty well. So whether it's offense or defense, we all have pretty skilled games on both sides. So I feel like whenever they call on us, whenever they need, I feel like we can provide that. Can you speak more on that defensively? Because again, they can do a lot of different things. Essentially, the four of you, I know yourself, I talked about your versatility, but it seems like they do switches or yeah. all kinds of things. I know your scramble defense, it seems like you guys can kind of lengthen mm -hmm. the whole thing. And you guys do have different skill sets. Yeah. Uh, Chris and AJ in favor are all really great defenders as well as me. So uh, we can switch. Like some days we'll run practice. And uh, when we got here, it was like all the freshmen together. And we used to switch one through five on ball screens or switch one through four, show with the five. So we're very versatile to where I could guard a guard, Chris could guard a guard, AJ can. If Fave gets switched, he can too. He can move his feet as long as he doesn't foul. But yeah, uh, post game, Fave is one of the best defenders I've ever went against in the post. He's just super long and his ability to block shots is, is up there. I don't know what it's like going against him or what you see mm -hmm. from him, what he's been bringing to you as his team yeah. so far? Definitely. I mean, Norchad is a big addition to the team. Um, I do, um, unfortunately, have to guard him a lot. Um, I mean, it definitely makes me better. He definitely makes the whole team better. He's a physical big, loves to rebound, great finisher at the rim. Uh, it makes it tough on us, so my job really is to make it tough on him. Um, so, yeah, he, he's doing a great job. I feel like he, everybody gets better and better every day. We play super hard. I mean, we're a fast team, so we try to build around that. And, uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes this season. I haven't had a chance to ask you, but just kind of what brought you here? I know you had some mm -hmm. other opportunities before coming here, but why was this the fit for you? Yeah, definitely. I mean, uh, I lived in Miami for two years. Um, I love the city. I do got a little bit of family here. Um, but when it came down to make a decision for my school, um, I, w I was weighing a couple other options, scholarship options as well, but I spoke with my family and we realized it wasn't really 
about like um, getting a, a free scholarship to school. It was more about where I want to be. Uh, I knew I wanted to play basketball, and this is the, the academic school I wanted to be at. So if I could do both of those, and I did my best, hit up Coach Caputo, uh, talked to him, showed what I could do the first couple days I was in Miami, and luckily I'm here. We only we only get better. Does Coach Larnega and the other coaches really talk to you about your value to this team? And a lot of players in your your, your position, you know, especially as a big, you just don't see walk-ons come yeah. your ability. Do they talk to you about that? The kind of looks you're able to give these guys in practice? And yeah, practice? yeah, definitely. That was one of the main conversations we had um, when I first got here, and then when I was talking about coming here. Um, I mean, I I knew uh, in high school I knew I was able to play at a Division One school. Um, I, did, I didn't think it would per se go like this, but I couldn't complain. I mean, they they, I sh they show their appreciation for, for me and Flip um, almost every day. I mean, we, we play hard. Uh, we do, if not the most reps, like, especially because we got to play defense as well. Um, but I enjoy it. I love seeing, I, I love being a part of this team. Everybody's super close. So, yeah.